Hey, good morning, students. This is Mrs. Kramer. It's good to be back with you again this morning. I thought I might start adding something to my YouTube videos for you guys on a daily basis. I think some of us are forgetting what day of the week it is. And what's the date? It is Friday, March 27th, and it is a great day to be a Minuteman. And it is a it is beautiful outside this morning. So you're seeing my two my two friends out here, May and April. May is a Pyrenees, she weighs about 100 pounds. April is a German Shepherd, she weighs about 70 pounds. We are going to calculate how long a bag of dog food is gonna last at the Kramer house for these two dogs. So I'm gonna take you into the garage and I've got set up my bag of dog food that's almost empty, okay? Now, we do normally buy large bags of dog food just because these two consume quite a bit. And we also have another dog on another farm that we provide dog food to also. So most of the times we buy two large bags of dog food at a time. But let's go to the back of a dog food bag. And on the back of the dog food bag, you will find what the recommended daily amounts to feed your animals, feed your dogs, will be listed. So you can see that for a 100 pound dog, they're recommending between three and two thirds cups, four and one thirds cup. And then for a dog between 51 and 75 pounds, they're recommending two and three fourths cups to three and one half cups. So altogether for our two dogs, we feed them about seven cups of dog food a day. So I've got part of it measured out here in this container and I'm gonna add to it another, the last cup that needs to go in. And what I've used for today is a measuring cup, a measuring cup that you would usually use to measure liquid. Well, I'm using it to measure dry so that you can see on the cup, it says one cup is eight ounces. And there's things around your house that can help you remember that if you don't have a reference sheet handy. So one cup equals eight ounces. I'm gonna add that to my container of dog food. And this container is just a old recycled empty container from cappuccino that I like to drink. Um, I'm going to show you another type of measuring cup that's larger, okay? It even gives you, if I can get it set up to where you can see the increments on it better, it even breaks you down into how many cups equal a quart, how many ounces are in four cups, how many ounces are in three cups, two cups, and one cup. And I don't know if you'll have one like this in your household, but... We have one, and I use this one often. So our problem is I am almost out of this bag of dog food. I've got enough in there for just maybe one more day. And I'm going to go ahead and put the dog food in their container because they may come in and join us just out of curiosity. Okay, so I have a new pan, new bag of dog food, and it is 57 pounds. So you can see on the top of it how many pounds are in it. And I need to determine, it's also got it at the bottom, the weight of the dog food. We've got to determine how long this bag of dog food is gonna last. So. I've got on my board to help you out. Let's see if I can get this where you can get it to where you can see it. Remember, one cup equals eight ounces. One pound equals 16 ounces. Our dogs eat seven cups of dog food per day. And we need to determine how many days will the 57 pound bag of dog food last. So I have different activities I would like for my different grade levels to do. And I will list these out in my Google Classroom also in detail. 
so that you won't have to just memorize what I need you to do. I'll have it written for you also. So my seventh graders, I want you to determine how long will the bag of dog food last and also see if you can write an expression to represent the amount of dog food consumed per day. And then my eighth graders, I would like for you to also write the expression for the amount of dog food consumed per day and also see if you can write an equation to represent the amount of dog food consumed per day. And I'd like for you to write that equation in slope intercept form. Remember, y equals mx plus b. And then my algebra students, in addition to the above, the expression, the equation in slope intercept form, I would like for you to determine if this is a direct variation equation and then also make a graph to represent the problem. Some of you are gonna fly through this assignment and some of you may struggle a little bit. If you need help in any way, please reach out to me. I'm doing my best to try and reply to everybody as quickly as I can. Your all's responses have been overwhelming. It joys my heart to get responses from you and to hear from you and to help you. That's why I went into teaching, to be able to help students learn and help students when you've got a struggle. So I don't want you to feel like you're in the struggle by yourself because you're not. It is a great day to be a Minuteman and I'm so proud to be your teacher. I miss you. I will talk to you soon. Don't be surprised if you don't see a post from me tomorrow too, just to stay in touch. Hashtag Minutemen all in. Have a wonderful day, guys, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye from Mrs. Kramer.